today we're going to be setting my floats on my curbs. What we're looking for is that mark in there. If you can see it, if we can just get it in, that mark, that circle there. This groove on your float is going to be virtually just on the edge of that circle there. That's how you know it's set. As you can see on my shut off, it's too high, so it's running too lean, I think it is. But it's got to be about there on shut off. So all I do is pull it out, I open this metal up, I open that lip of the metal upwards so it won't go as far up. Alright. Just at one. You see that? That's about right. You can see where it's shutting off your valve at the top. Shuts off. It's going in. It's about the bottom there. It's about right there. Where this one? The same as you want. So. You can see the valve not even going right up, so that's well loose. I need to adjust that next. Alright, and as you can see, I've opened. Do you get this? I've opened that, the metal flat there, so it's wider. But now I think I've opened it too wide. See? It's not going bang on. I like that one. So now I need to just squeeze. Try about that dodgy video in. Squeeze that down a bit. What I'm doing is using a screwdriver. I'm keeping my finger pushed down. While I'm prising it open, just slowly prising it up that metal and just keep testing. Now I'm just going to push it down, don't push it too hard up in case you damage your valve here. All I'm doing is slowly twisting it up, and I'm going to slowly pull it down until it goes level with that mark up there. Alright, so I think, see if it will zoom in a bit, come on focus, anyway, I think that's about bang on. I think I got it banged on, especially where the marks are anyway. So, let's see if oh, I think that's just a bit too high. It's supposed to be there. So, I need to release that a bit. That looks about bang on there. Loosen it off slightly a bit more. Right, I've set this float up and this one needs a new valve as when I set it up level it's, and the float drops, it's not letting fuel out. I have to really lower it, it means my float is coming up here. So when I put the pipe on, my fuel is coming above the mark. But when I try and bring it down, it's shutting off my valve. So I need a new valve for this one. So I've adjusted it so the fuel, it will be running a bit rich, but at least it's running. This one, right, so you connect your pipe here. And the screw for this valve, or to release your drain, well your drain screw, sorry, 
is the other side of the curb and I'll show you that in a moment but this is it it's a three mil pipe you need I've used a four and it just leaks out but it's virtually bang on with that mark anyway so this one's set I just need to get a new valve for here show you the drain screw you need to undo on each car smashing up the garage your screws there that's for the drain plug on this car and the other one's there just underneath your wires your heat wires is there that's your drain screws you just undo them a couple of turns better get out my shed come on always nicking up with my tools yeah so you undo them Get out! Out! Yeah, just do as you're told. Yeah, so you undo them drain screws. Just a couple of turns just to release the fuel in here. Turn your bike on, leave it to idle. When it's settled, your fuel will come up your pipe and then you'll know. Well, like I say, you get a free mil because this is a four and it just keeps falling off my valve there. So it keeps leaking out. Well, I ordered it and my fuel levels up here that's it I need a new valve for that one as that's knackered say hello Bella say hello yep so I will be sinking the carbs soon so I get a new valve for this one then I will video it and post it up hopefully it'll be in the next few days it all depends on how long it takes for a valve to come through have a good day peeps